everybody and welcome back to another video. Generic YouTube intros are amazing. Um, so here, <laughs> um, we have my psychic poison types thingy-madougals card. That's the name. Um, most of these were from a themed, a Lunala themed deck, um, which is quite cool. So yeah. Um, and this is the fourth part, surprisingly. Also, I've actually managed to get an upload schedule already. I literally just saw it like five seconds ago. So, my upload schedule will be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yesterday was a bit different, only because I felt like uploading it. I wanted to get the series over with quicker. So, yeah, um, today we'll be going through, like I said... <laughs> Psychic types. Um, and last episode we went through all my water types. Episode before that, we went through all of my normal or colourless. And in the episode before that, we went through dark, fairy, fairy psychic. I say that because my Megadwa EX was dual type, because it was shiny. And fairy, I want to say. I feel like I either said... Fighting or fairy, whichever one it is, you will correct me. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the video. Let's go. I'm back. Let's zoom in a bit more. There we go. <laughs> the first two are um, <laughs> Spanish print. Because the Lunology X is a definite fake. Definite fake. Um, so yeah. Oh, and I probably shouldn't mention this, but I am. Um, this is the fourth part. You don't need to watch the other three parts to get the gist of what I'm doing. Okay, now let's get back to the actual video. Um, here we have a Nidorino. Very cool, I know. The camera's focuses there, not in the corner there, surprisingly. It's like wood. So yes, this is a Nidorino. It evolves from a Nidorino. This is Nidorino. Does it evolve from a Nidorina? You tell me in the comments. I honestly can't remember for the life of me. Nidorina is the female one. Nidoran. 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 I think that's what it is. Correct me in the comments. Here we have the Spanish print. Cough, cough, fake. Um, Lunology X. I believe, yeah. This is a format. Um, this is fake, no HP at all, so basically you can use this and it will never die. <laughs> then it knows Moon Gaze Beam and, um, it's a rare. <clears throat> Notice how I said that was a tiny bit of sarcasm. Probably not noticeable because I'm sarcastic all the time. Here we go, this is a full art, and its ability makes no sense. Here we have Accuse Moog or Nebby. If you watch, and um, was it? If you've played Sun and Moon or Third of Cosmog, then you probably know it's been called Nebby by Lily. Cool. This is a Cosmog. I got this with the Lunar theme deck. Um, here we. I'm going to show these both because they're the same thing. I've got. Gothurita. I was about to say Gothurita, but that's the final one. <laughs> Quite cool. Um, in black and white. So, yeah, yeah, I have to have the game cartridge here. Here we go. <laughs> this is the one of two Pokemon, three Pokemon games I have. Um, notice how I said three. One of them is Pokemon Ranger Shadows of Almania, I want to say. Yeah, probably that. Then there's Pokemon Pearl and Pokemon Black, which is Black Version, actually, which is the one I showed you. Here, ooh, another Cosmog. Not, that was the card after the... I don't know, claim it. I don't know, claim it. And its move is Super Poison Breath. Oh, my God. 
It literally doesn't require energy. I've I only just realized that. Well then there's pound. Mm. Also I like um how they introduced alone like alone farms of some pretty well loved Pokemon. Um like Vulpix and Ninetales. Thank you. They're really I'm actually happy to see um quite a few of them. Like Pokemon you wouldn't expect, like Grand or Muck to get alone farms actually got one. Then saying that I didn't really see it coming was Vulpix and Ninetales. Then saying that they're probably gonna get one because of what I found. Yeah. Here we have a Mimikyu, the totem Pokemon of Asarola's trial, which is the ghost trial. Yeah. Mimikyu. I know a bit of story about this. <laughs> Did I say this in the first part? I don't know. Maybe one day I'll go through all of like the cards Pokedex entries for each type. That will be a different series. One sec. Burp. There we go. Um but Mimikyu was jealous of how Pikachu like was jealous of Pikachu. And yeah. Here we have a Um sorry. <laughs> A slow king. I don't have a slow poke, but I have a slow bro. Mm-hmm. Oh, is this a slow bro? No, slow king. <laughs> slow kings have a... English. Um, slow king's evolution method is kind of odd. It needs to level up while holding a king, king's rock, or you just give it the king's rock. Like, as like a stone that you can use. Then we have a true thing. Coughing. Nothing too special about one of those. We sing. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Remember. Sorry about that. My sister rudely interrupted. <laughs> Back to we sing. Two. Oh wait. I want to see two coughings fused together. That's what it looks like. Another coffin. Another Gotharita. Here we have a Trevenant. Um, I in Gen Six, my favorite ghost type, because they didn't. I don't think they introduced that many in Gen Six actually. Was actually Phantom, which then I found out of old and Trevenant. And I was like, it deserves it. Oh, and by the way, Phantom's really cute, but its Pokedex entry is dark. I only know it off my I kind of know it so um let's just say phantoms are the spirits of possessed stumps from little children. Which then involves in something terrifying and annoying to deal with. Uh Gothita. Or as my little sister calls it cutie. Yeah. I don't know why I mentioned that. I have so many hmm. Here we go. That's another coughing. Here we have a Drift Blim. I actually use one of these in my Pokemon Black. Like, post-game, when you complete the main storyline, I caught one and used it. Ooh. Three cards before we get to Luna Hollow. Oops. Here we have a Cosmillum. Yes, this evolves from Cosmog and evolves into either Sorgalio or Lunala, depending on <laughs> the game. Which is kind of cool. Um, so I believe we're... Correction, we are halfway through. <laughs> um, I know... Gothita... Or cutie. A boink! Sorry if it seems like I am rushing. I normally try to keep it down to at least ten minutes. Um, so here we have a Lunala Hollow. Ooh, the camera picks up really well. See how it shines? Another spoink. A whirlipede. Like I said, in one of my playthroughs, I caught Venipede, evolved it into whirlipede, and eventually into... Scolipede. That's it. Um, here we have a Gothita. Cutie. Yeah. Tentacool. Ooh, I've got it. <laughs> Lunala, normal. Uh, regular rare. Uh. 
or the Collier Senshu form. I can't remember what this one called. Oh, everything looks amazing. Ooh, Litwick. I can't remember the name of the card that's coming up next. It's called a Bell Toy, but I know, like, for the card in general, there's a specific name for it. Can't remember what style it is. It's not full art, but it's something close to that. Um, a Gothelita again. Oh, a reverse scrap. I believe this is just a common. Yeah. Here we have a Dust Clops, which evolves from Dust Skull. Then Dust Clops evolves into Dust Noir. Yes. Very creative names. Here we have a Zubat. Zubat, Zubat, Zubat. Um, a Drowsy, which then evolves into Hypno. Cosmog, Trubish, and Cosmoan. So, Dengnebwich. So, that is all for today. I may upload another video, I don't know. Um, in the next episode, of Pokemon Cards with Joshua. It's not actually called that, Joshua. Um, I will be going through. I'm just going to calculate this quickly. I'll be right back when I've covered it. We'll cover um, Steel and Fire, and then the last episode will cover Grass. Then, if you want, on the last episode, comment if you do want to see all of my trainer items. And by God, there is a lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. So, that is it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all the other t typical things a, perfect a professional YouTuber will ask, want you to do. Yeah, I'm going to zoom out now. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!